So today I decided to make a YouTube video of um, unboxing this snake that I got from SRS Reptiles. Or SRS Exotics, sorry. So, leave a comment down below of what gene you think she's going to be or what multiple genes. And if you're right, then you're right. So, let's see. I'm going to open up this up very carefully because oh my gosh, I'm actually so excited about this. This is the first snake I've ever um, ordered online that I haven't like gone into a store and picked up. So it's I'm gonna be very, very, very careful about this part. I uh, saw them at the Midwest Reptile Show, and they were like really nice people to talk to me and everything. You know, shook his hand and everything. But here's their business card. So, for sure, go check them out. I will probably um, put their Instagram down. Instagram down in the description. Mm -hmm. It says what it is. Thank you, SRS. Oh, it's a really nice package. They got, oh, this is not cotton, but maybe it is, I don't know. I like the stuff you put in a teddy bear. Oh, she's in here. Obviously, but I can see her moving around. I'm so excited. There is a zip tie on here, so let me get that off real quick. The zip tie is a bit more work than I thought it would be. But I mean, whatever you gotta do to make sure they're all safe. Think of editing, I'm back with some scissors. So hopefully, these give a better go than the knife did. Oh, yes, yes, yes. This is a really nice one. Let's see, how do I do this bad boy? Okay, so not right here. And then another knot right here. Okay. Oh, she's beautiful. I actually got to see her and hold her at the show, I believe. And, oh my gosh, guys. If you said, Highballed, you are correct. I've wanted one of these for a while. She's only, uh, I believe they said three months old. Oh, look at her. She looks good, she looks pretty plump. She seems alert, she's okay. Yeah, she's looking at me, checking me out. Like, who are you? I don't like you giant person that just got me out of this bag, but yeah. Try to show you her face. Come here, girl. <gasps> Ooh, is that you? And I really like her pattern. There is another one, but I like her because she has like almost identical on each side. And I, just, I don't know, I like that a lot. So I'm going to set her down real quick. And this is also a video of how to set up an enclosure for your new pet ball python is set up for heat map. Helps them digest, keeps them warm because they are full blooded. And she'll be a nice little happy snake and she can chill out. Now uh, it gives you these small studs right here. I don't know if you can see them that well. What you do is you flip over your tank 
And you'll probably be able to see me do this. You take it off of the adhesive and you put it right on the corner of the tank. Of each and every corner. So then you put the heat mat on. It's not sitting on the wire, it doesn't cause any damage, you know, it's not gonna start, it's not gonna set your house on fire, it's not gonna burn down, you know. None of that bad stuff. There you go. Step one is complete. Then money shot. Take your heat mat. And you're gonna want to put it on one distinct, one distinct side of the terrarium because these animals like to have hot side or warm side and the cool side. You want to make sure you get as much of that stuck on there as you can so it stays on there. Because one, they like to have a warm side for digesting and chilling out. And then a cool side for their water and just where they can go and hang out and not really worry about anything. Oh, there she is. She's just chilling around in that packaging. Okay. Then, let's see, what should we set up next? The little babies, I should say this horse, you can put them in like a 20 gallon. Um, this one's a bit bigger, but it's not as long, but she'll be able to explore it and everything. Next, I believe I will put in. I'll put in the jungle mix right now. Take off this lid. And it does not have a lock, so I'm going to get some of those. Um, when I ordered the lid, because I got this as a uh, donation kind of work. You know that game my Beater Dragons gave me this, so. You want to get a good amount. Make sure it can spread across the bottom of it evenly. This is a good substrate. I use this for most of my animals. Uh, for most of my snakes, I mean. I kill all my snakes. <laughs> so, yeah. Nice and even. There we go. I forgot one thing over here. I'm going to get her little hide. It's really cute and a little bit small for her. Not small for her, but it's small because she is small. It's good for her. And uh, she can go hang out over here. Pop this out on this on the warm side so she can feel safe and be nice and warm. Next, got her little water dish. Which I'm not gonna throw the this up, but put this up on a giant stand. After that, I'll show you the aftermath of this. It's gonna take a while. I'm gonna put it. I got a 75 watt for her, which I will also put on the warm side. And uh, I'll show you the aftermath of how I have it all set up. All right, guys, I have the terrarium set up right now. I'll turn that around and show you. Heat mat underneath the hide water bulb over here, which I will fill up, and then a heat light with a 75 watt light bulb. Um, she's little, so I probably don't need anything for her. So I'm gonna set it down real quick right here. Take that. Set it over here. Put our cage. And set this little baby in there. I decided I was gonna name her Pie. Cause she's a pie ball and she has the orangest hint and she's like pumpkin pie, so that's kinda the joke. Not the joke, but the the pun I guess. And yeah, so I will keep you guys updated, but as of now, that's her setup. She's just in her little ball formation. Uh, thank you for watching if you did watch, if you stayed all the way through. Um, uh, I'll put my Instagram down and um, probably the Instagram of SRS Exotics. Thank you so much for watching and see you guys next time.